This is where we looking at a crazy game yesterday. USC and Colorado. USC really came out of the gates fast. Got up. Everything was going right for them. Blocked punt. Interception. Colorado stalled out. In the second half, Colorado was by far the more physical team and really took it to USC. So if you looked at the entire game, it was an entirely different second half. Colorado dominated the second half, especially the fourth quarter. USC looked tired. It looked lethargic. They just didn't finish the game, even though they were up by 20-plus in the fourth quarter. Led Colorado to climb back in where an onside kick recovery could have potentially led to a game tying drive. But anyway, if you're looking for Colorado's offense and you're looking for USC's defense, we'll have another video. So look for that on the channel. We'll have that out here pretty soon. Got this play on here because it's the first play of the game and it's a really good call schematically. They must have known exactly what Colorado was going to do. Trips to the boundary, motion the inside receiver right here. He ends up blocking here. And all they run is GT that direction. You got a bubble screen here, got a bubble screen here by the slot receiver. So center's blocking there, blocking down there. Once he motions in, he's blocking outside. Linebacker, they're pulling for in the box, pulling for in the box right there. So we'll take a look at it. There's that motion. All they do is they bump a little bit. He widens out. And right there, that's all you're looking for. It's a five-man box, five on five. You can take care of him with number four right here. And you can read this guy, which is what, what Caleb Williams does right here. You see the ball snapped. Looks good as far as the run, five on five in the box. There's your read. He's sliding in. There's tons of space right there. Going to block the corner there with the outside receiver. Flips it out there to him. Gets the ball in space. And you see catching it right there, you've got basically a third of the field where you're two on one. Safety's trying to go inside out. He's running inside out as well. Got to keep contained here with the corner. 16 gets vertical. Now there's a lot of space there. And one of the more dynamic guys on the field is able to get 10 yards right there on the first play of the game. Here's a look early in the game. Third and nine. You see they're mowed down right here. Defensively, it looks like they're trying to show blitz. They end up bringing this back right here, so a really good job as far as the protection. Sorting this out, because right here, as you're looking at it, they've got five guys down, and you've got a couple guys right here that either one of them could blitz, he could be manned up, they could be playing zone. But whatever it is, as the quarterback's looking, it's a one-high look. Pretty obvious it's going to be a one-high look. And what they're going to run, they run a really good one-high beater. So they got a curl flat here on this side. Quarterback's going to look one. I'm trying to throw that dig into a window. If I don't like it, now I've got this curl flat right here from the backfield. So six-man pro does a good job sorting this out. There's the backer blitzing right there. Tight end stays in. He's even going curl right there on that side. If they wouldn't have had anybody off in the C-gap, I think he's probably checking out, getting to the flats. But as you see, it, Caleb Williams catches it. His eyes go down the middle of the field. He's one high. He's looking for this bend right here. And this backer drops straight back into that window. And you can see, if you're watching Caleb Williams, he even releases his hands right there. If this backer would have hesitated on that out, he's taking that right there into that window. But this backer backs right up into the window, so reset it. Now's your curl. There's the guy that's actually taking the flat. Now he drills it right through that window. Huge window right there, especially for big-time ball player. Puts it on his body. Easy throw and catch, curl flat right there against that one high look. As you see, this is a safety that rolled down. He's the guy that played flat. Jumped that swing. That opened up that curl on the second level to take the completion right there and get a first down. So right there, cover three, third and nine. Really didn't work out there for Colorado. This play is a rare miss here for Caleb Williams. All it is is a six-man pro staying in right here. You've got a post. He's coming across shallow. He's sitting right there at the safety, a one-high safety look. you got the outside guy running basically a curl. Caleb Williams with a little bit of a play fake here, trying to get these backers, safeties to step up. And he's basically reading this safety that rolls over. So here's a little bit of a play fake. As you can see, everybody's eyes are into the backfield. Looks like man-to-man -man right here on the outside receiver. You want to step on his toes. And great job here by the receiver getting off the football. Step on his toes. He got him flat-footed. Sticks at his leverage. And then goes skinny. Trying to run through contact with momentum. Right there over the top. And all you see, there's no help because this safety stayed low with this curl here. Held this safety. He didn't get enough depth. And Caleb Williams notices that safety doesn't give any help on that post. So he knows he's got a chance out there on the outside. Gives him a shot, doesn't quite connect. But right here, again, looking at Caleb Williams' eyes on this, play fake, looks like his eyes go straight to that safety. What's he doing? Is he getting enough depth? Not enough depth. Let's find this post. My guy wins. Laid out there to him. Just doesn't connect on it right here, just a little bit long on that throw. But as you can see, taking those shots outside on that one-on-one, -on -one, they're playing man-to-man -to, -man to the single with a one-high look. This play right here is pretty interesting for the scheme. They end up basing here, down blocking, block, blocking back. You gap hinge with this tackle, so he gaps and then he turns back. K. Williams ends up reading this defensive when they're turning back to him. There's an extra unblocked guy here for the pull. All right, so right here, 
It's actually a GY counter, so they pull for the front side there. Their Y pulls for the middle backer. And right here, everybody else is basing. Okay, Williams, he sees this guy get off the edge right here as 76 is trying to turn back late. He thinks he's about to take that back, so he has to pull. So right here, corner from this nub side falls in with nobody left for him. K. Williams gets the pull. Now it's one-on-one -on -one with K. Williams in the corner. He's in a little shake right there, outruns him to the sideline right there. Uh, great play there by Caleb Williams. Obviously seeing that this guy was squeezing pretty hard, probably going to tackle that back or have a good chance to get him on the ground or slow him down. So he has the pull, even though there's an extra guy outside. He knows that's a better option than just handing it and getting a negative play. So right there, good job reading it. Good job taking it outside, making a guy miss, getting a positive Getting a positive play when this could have been a tackle in the backfield. So right there, just little things to stay in front of the sticks right there for USC. There's a lot going on in this play, and we'll take a look at it real quick and just kind of draw up what I think is going on right here. you got some sort of a post corner. He's going to check. He's going to get out. As far as the protection, Colorado will walk down to a five front, so they're going to take all five with old linemen. you got your back right here in case he blitzes. you got to pick him up. But right here, thinking it's man-to-man. -man. These guys running across. Somebody's got to win with leverage right there, basically seeing who stays two-on-one as, as you're looking at it. Here's the play action right there. Linebacker ends up blitzing. Got to take him. But as far as the quarterback's read, he sees this one high look. Who does he chase? Right here, his eyes are on this guy that's coming across. So right there, now it's two-on-one there, so that's dead. Now I'm finding my other cross from this outsider. See where he's got leverage. Even though we're giving ground right here, Williams, this is all arm. Just look at him throwing right here with his feet parallel. That's all arm, all core. Has to push it to him right there against man-to-man. -man. Not the tightest coverage, but decent coverage. Good play right there, catching with your hands, finishing in the end zone, playing strong right there. As you can see, it's getting a little bit more jumbled up than you think it should. Right here, this corner does a great job of moving his feet. He can't run through it, and it jumbles all this up a little bit more than it should as far as that defender being there and this receiver. who should have be in that area, probably about that B, so that opens up a little bit more for you. But right there, great throw and catch. Great read right there, seeing this man-to-man. -man. And also, pretty good protection. Back steps up right here. You've got a mic that's free running. You're trying to cut him down. Gets a piece of him just enough right there to keep him from being in the quarterback's face. He has to get hands down. Slows him down just enough. Quarterback giving ground. Throwing off his back foot. Great strong throw right there by Caleb Williams. And then also a great job finishing there by 15. On this play right here, really good play by Colorado. They're bringing their corner. And as a quarterback, what you're looking for is to alert you to this corner blitz is how wide is the safety. Typically these safeties are going to get way off the hash so they know that because they don't have to get over the top of this receiver. But they did a great job of disguising this. Stay on the hash almost over the ball. So no real indication right here that this corner is going to blitz. He rolls late to it, which they is one of those things where you get sometimes you guess right, sometimes you guess wrong. But right there, free rush, nobody sees it. Tackle is not aware of it on this. Tight end is not aware of it. And they just absolutely guessed right on this one. But right here, great job disguising it by that safety. Corner playing fast, unblocked. And right here, USC is obviously real lucky that this ball wasn't fumbled. Obviously, this is a big hit on the guy that really a lot of stuff's riding on. So I hate to see that right there if you're a USC fan. But great job here by Colorado disguising it. And then really not great awareness here by Caleb Williams. He should have his eyes up, see that corner, see the safety get off the hash pretty hard. Now that could possibly alert you that there should be could be something coming from your right side with how that safety's getting off the hash right there. Pretty flat. But anyway, play fake. He got his eyes to the left. No chance to see it. Big play right there for Colorado. Really good call. Guess right right there on that one. Made a play. Had a lot going on in this play as well. In motion, they're back. Zero out here wide. Widen the safety out. And they didn't really do a great job of communicating this. Somebody lost track of what was going on, whether there's a linebacker or whatever, really. I would assume this linebacker would bump out a little bit more, maybe play more in the middle of the field. This corner comes down and plays the flats. This safety gets over the top. And with that motion out wide, safety widens out as well, opening the middle of the field. So right here, as the ball snapped, you got your tight end back here, and he even just releases into some sort of a chip and go, something going on right here where he's checking out. And you see this corner sitting, and this safety gets off the hash. Okay, Williams right here. You see his eyes as soon as he catches it. His eyes see that guy get way off the hash think that somebody would roll there, but they roll the exact opposite. And now, all you have left to stop Mario Williams going right down the middle of the field is this linebacker. So right there, number 50-something. He's the only guy you got guarding one of the better receivers in the country. No chance right there. And him checking out also takes this linebacker. So I'd say this is definitely a busted coverage. I'd say this safety, 43, probably rolled the wrong direction. Or just the coverage was wrong over here because he should be off here playing man. 
And if that guy's rolling that hard off the hash, he should be rolling there as well. So busted coverage to me from Colorado. And, but Caleb Williams, great job recognizing it up middle of the field wide open. Take to one of the better players right there. Easy throw and catch, big touchdown right there in the second quarter. This view really shows how wide open the middle of the field is. He's getting off the hash. He's way too wide. This linebacker's way too flat-footed. He ain't playing tamper or anything. That is a huge window. No backs to throw it over and also no safety help. Busted coverage there for Colorado. Easy throw and catch there by USC for a touchdown. Have this look on here basically just to see Caleb Williams and how he can zip this ball out there right here. Just a little bit of a flicker wrist. Flipping his hips just a little bit. Not really driving off the back foot. And throwing that stop route out there about seven eight yards deep great pace to the ball right there really really good throw right there you can just see boom flips it that thing is absolutely flying tons of pace on the ball just a flip of the wrist all core all arm right there really impressive no look here of a corner fire from colorado again trying to disguise it with that safety they're able to disguise it a little bit better because that outside receiver is so tight into the box right there corner fire this time, Caleb Williams' eyes are to it. They get lucky. Pulls the ball right here on the GT and just flips it two-step out to him. Catches the ball. Here's the safety trying to roll over, 43. Absolutely freezes that dude. Runs through an arm tackle. Gets to the end zone right here for USC. Great job finishing in the end zone. Not having him snap the ball again. But right there, Colorado guessing again, trying to make a big play on a first and 10. SC sees it this time. Caleb Williams with the awareness. Flips it out there. Now, this is a bad spot to be with a safety. He's going to make you miss most of the time with no help. Finds a way to finish the end zone. And from this look, you can really see how much space there really is right here. And great awareness here by Kate Williams. They're just running GT to the right. Sees it. Quits with the fake. Not even worried with the mesh here. Steps back away from the back. So good job having awareness that that back's coming in front. Step away. Get it up and over the corner. This is what he does right here. He has to get it up and over. If you got a catchable ball, boom, ball's caught literally a third of the field to make this guy miss. He just stutters a little bit. No chance right there for 43. Arm tackle's broken. He goes and scores right here. So that time Colorado didn't guess right like they did earlier in the game. His play that SC threw a couple times. They got a hitch here, hitch outside. They hit this a couple times in this game against this off man. If they give ground like they do here, you could possibly put it on him right here, but he decides he wants to go slot fade here with the number three receiver against his safety that's playing low. Pretty flat-footed, but as you see the break, the stick right there, going to the fade, how much over the top this defender is. And I know you can hardly see it, but right there, he's on the top of it right there as far as the hip. So right here, Kevin's great ball, good pace to it, to go back shoulder, and receiver with a good adjustment, making a play right there, catching it with his hands. But right there, when you're throwing those fades, whether it's outside fade, inside fade, if that safety or corner is on that front hip over the top, the only place to put it is that back shoulder. And right there, you got tons of space. You could even put it way more out here, maybe even, and let him adjust late. But good play. Good job playing through a little contact there and finishing your play for an explosive by Mario Williams. Right here on this touchdown, all it is is double slant. And just want to show the routes right here. Two does a really good job being patient, knowing he's got time to work to win on that slant. 19 right here, he's going straight to the slant. So we'll just look at his route first. Straight to the slant. That guy's chasing right there. And then he's going to try to go to the back of the end zone right there. That might be the second look. So right here. Boom, he sticks his foot in the ground, trying to make him flip his hips. Sticks it, trying to go right there to the back end zone for a possible jump ball. If I was talking with the quarterback about what we're looking for right here, we want to let this guy work. It's man to man. Give him time to work to get open. Right there, boom, he comes off. He's shuffling. He's buzzing his feet, and then he sticks. Wins to the inside. Not a great job here by the corner. Taking away inside leverage. You would think that you'd want that guy to fade that. But right here is the outside releases and slides to the outside just a little bit. He almost gets to outside leverage with them being flat-footed. Square to the outside. Easy win right there by two. Good throw and catch. And I would say, hey, we want to look for that slant. Give him time to work. If we don't like it, now we've got our tight end, bigger body receiver right here. Runs to the back of the end zone for a jump ball. And right there, maybe this corner does a better job playing it. Now we throw that thing up there to the about the goal post. Let our guy go make a play. But right there, good route here by two. Easy throw and catch on the double slant there for SC for a touchdown. Same concept over here to the trips that we saw earlier where they threw that slot fade. Back shoulder over here. Over here on this side, though, they're running a bang eight and a wheel from the back. So right here, Kevin runs the sides. He wants to go to this direction. So at least by the outside receiver, and he's going to bang that thing in the window, waiting for him to get all the way to the middle field right here. You're getting a pretty intricate blitz right here. These guys are trying to do all kinds of crazy stuff. 
The middle of the field is wide open. Tons of space there. There's the wheel getting out. Now Caleb Williams actually pumps. He holds it again, throwing off his back foot. With a lot of rotation here from his core, he's able to zip that thing to him. Gets into the middle window, which was vacated by those blitzers. And also when this bat gets out, takes the only other guy that could possibly guard the middle of the field. So right here, good patience. Let him get to that next window. Give it to him right there. Safety's way off. Easy throwing catch right there for an explosive play. Here's a look here of the last touchdown. Obviously, a cool touchdown because they only won by one score. One of these two guys has to play his tight end man-to-man. -man, and all anybody else is doing is basically basing pass pro right here. One-man route. He's going to act like he's blocking there, and he goes to the flats. Okay, Williams reverses out downhill right there to the right. And watching this tight end's route, all he does is basically shove that guy just a little bit as he's releasing. This guy's froze. Eyes in the backfield. This guy's trying to get into the, to the play. Kevin Williams obviously knows right here. Unblocked dude right here off the edge. You gotta get your eyes up. You gotta be an athlete, get around. And that's what he does right here. He has to get it up and over. Still an accurate ball right there. Able to run away from that extra defender. Easy throwing catch there for the last touch on USC. Obviously a critical play. Colorado falls asleep. Obviously that dude should be running with him. Or whenever he steps out, he should put hands on and just run with him, go with him wherever he goes. Great job there by Caleb Williams giving ground, being an athlete. Still throwing an accurate ball off his back foot. This is a really interesting look right here on first and 10. And USC's running tackle power here. All it ends up being is basically inside zone that way for everybody. And it's going to be the same side, so this running back's going to get it coming downhill. Caleb Williams even reads this outside back right here. So as you're watching it, everybody get into their gap. These two basically taking those two down, down. This guy's playing the C gap, so we're down blocking that guy. This guy's going to be the D gap defender. Puller is wrapping around for the only backer in the box. Caleb Williams with his eyes up sees this guy with his eyes on the back. So he pulls it right there. Defender does recognize it, but by then Caleb Williams already made a miss. And now he's rolling in space. So right there, I thought that was a really good job by the guys up front. Just turn that into inside zone that way with an extra guy filtering through to block the linebacker. And then also Caleb Williams with that same side read to the front side, almost turned into a veer. Gets a pull right there. Makes the guy miss. Now he gets up in space, gets a first down. And obviously right here with Colorado with some momentum in the fourth quarter, all those first downs were critical. At least keep their defense off the field, give them a little bit of a rest because they just look gassed all second half, especially in the fourth quarter. Really good play design right here on this screen. They actually motion their guy across right here. Now they're two by two here. He goes vertical, then he comes in here, he cracks. Everybody's making it look like zone that way, looking screen with the back running around right here. But he's going to the flats for the screen. So right here, really good call. Comes across kind of a fake the fake type thing right there from the water boy. So right there, we're going to pretend to fake this. But then we're going to fake this screen out here. Fullback has released. And right here, as you're looking at it, on the, out, on the play side, you got this guy go, goes vertical for one step. Safety, back up for a step, boom, one step. Now I'm going right there to crack. Looking at the line, they're making it look just like they're going to zone here. One, two, and then this tackle is getting out to lead. Crack, lead right there, and there's the running back. Pretended to fake. Quarterback's getting it hard fake right here. Now being an athlete, got to get around this guy. Easy throwing catch. With that guy already out leveraged, ran that corner off versus man-to-man. -man. Crack the guy that's probably supposed to be manned up on the back. You stop it right here. This is a great look. You got your tackle out there on the outside. He circled the defense. Now they're rolling right here, trying to put this game away. So right there, explosive play. Great call there on the screen. And then great execution right here because obviously – this guy's probably supposed to be manned up on the back that gets out, crack him, and then he slides in playing man-to-man -man on that inside receiver, and you now you've got, your, got him out leveraged, found a way to get the ball out there in space late in the game, get first downs and create an explosive play. Here's a play from earlier that we saw. This time they go slot fade here, hitch, hitch, got your bang eight, you got a wheel here from the back. Great job here by the old line sorting it out. So they pick up basically all five that are rushing. So a really good job right here. Feel good about this bang eight with these backers flying out. you got tons of space there. Hey, Williams sets his feet, drills it to him. Really good play by the corner right here. Uh, obviously, would like to have a little bit more space when that ball's getting out. But right there, good play by the corner. Maybe you can stick that a little bit later, maybe get this ball out a little bit sooner. Just looking at the route right here, what I'd tell him, boom, all he does is one step, and he's just trying to play with speed. What you really should do, boom, I got my inside leverage. I'm going to lean, and then I'm going to stick so I can have more space. But right there, he just one steps, and he tries to run to it. That corner does a good job just getting it on his hip, running with him and makes a play on the ball right here. And right here, if they complete this, and he sticks this and has a little bit more space, may score. 
But then also, there's a second and nine. They miss the field goal on this one because they kick it from a little bit deeper because they get a sack on the next play. But right there, kind of a elementary type route here by the receiver just trying to win with speed. He never restacks and leans and sticks to create that extra space. So right there, Kevin has to fit into a window. Great play there by the corner, knocking it down. Just little details right there. Late in the game, really lacking there for USC. Uh, it's pretty obvious right here on this route here by one of the better receivers. Just have to lean. Create your space whenever that ball is going to get there, and this ball is not going to get there right out of your break. So we need to lean more, create your own space with contact, and they don't do make a play right here and gave Colorado a chance. Now, obviously, this game was really frustrating for USC fans. It was great in the first half. Everything was going right. Second half, everything kind of felt lethargic, tired. Those dudes just didn't play with the same enthusiasm, didn't play with attention to detail that they would need to beat a really good team like a Washington, like an Oregon. Colorado's going to be a good team, but they're just not there as far as their depth yet. But you can see what they're building. And they're going to be tougher in the future. And USC, to be able to beat the good teams that are coming up on their schedule, they're going to have to have a lot more attention to detail when it gets late in the game and to put teams away.